Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 12 Pro Max and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So number one, we're going to start off with the control center. And by default, if you pull it down, uh, you'll see a limited amount of uh, toggles here. So basically the default amount, uh, apart from, well, this one, that's not default. And you are actually able to add more. Uh, so you can go to settings, control center, and you'll have all the toggles that you can add. Now, I will mention that right now, this is still the default amount of toggles you can add. If you, are, uh, if you already installed some kind of apps, uh, there is a chance that they already also have some kind of toggle and it will be visible from here at which point you can also add it uh, by simply just tapping on a plus like so and as you can see now it increased so just a nice way to access certain things uh, a bit quicker then moving on to the next one it's gonna be the simple dark mode and the easiest way to access it is by going to the control center holding the brightness and from here we have dark mode and obviously you can see that it automatically shifts into it so that will also include apps um, as you can see everything is now in this dark mode and because this is also a OLED or AMOLED display uh, it will save a tiny bit of battery and in cases like uh, for instance right here you can see this area specifically right here is fully black and because of the display the pixels here is here are self-lit meaning that whatever is looking completely black those pixels are basically disabled they're they're not blowing in any kind of way they're not giving off any kind of light uh, they're basically turned off and that will save you a little bit of a battery uh, apart from it just kind of looking a little bit more aesthetic and pleasing to the eye especially during the night but for the purpose of this video i'm gonna stick with the bright one i just feel like it just looks a little bit better on the video so moving on to the next one uh, it's gonna be the uh, display zoom now this is for the people that are a little bit more elderly and just need a little bit of bigger content so you can access it by going under the display and brightness scrolling down and you have view from here you can select it to be uh, zoomed and this will in turn make icons a little bit bigger and all the content will be just a tiny bit bigger so yeah now i'm gonna there we go i need to actually press set hopefully there we go so you can already see i everything here is bigger if we go now it doesn't look like much changed here but you can see I, I believe the icons did increase in size and specifically uh, the settings itself is a little bit bigger now I'm gonna go back and change it back to the default so there we go set and moving on to the next option it's gonna be the emergency SOS following the elderly people um, or maybe not only but you have this option emergency SOS which will allow you to set a two button uh, combo so you can press the power key and volume up uh, to basically call for help and uh, can set up a either a medical way through health so health details so here you basically get to set up uh, your details about yourself uh, and basically how it works is whenever you have the SOS, you enable it, it will send to a given phone number a message or m some kind of facility message with your current position on the map and basically all the information that you have provided right here so they can arrive prepared. So moving on to the last option, it's going to be the app library. Now by default, you can see that all the apps are right on the home screen, kind of like they have been for the good past decade on iOS but they also added the app library right here and again there are all the apps that we already have right over here but what you can do is actually go into the settings then home screen 
and you can choose that newly downloaded apps will go straight to app library and not your home screen. So you can download them and they will not appear anywhere here, but only here. So just a way to kind of have like a app drawer, kind of like Android does, and keep your home screen a little bit cleaner. Uh, it's still not the best in my opinion, but it's way better than just having folders everywhere. I just don't like that. So yeah, that's a fun thing. Uh, but and anyway, this would finish up the uh, tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.